Hello, I'm Matt with Geotactical Solutions, and today we're going to cover using Laser Rangefinder, the 500 SCM GPS Tactical Digital Camera. Some basics the 500 SCM GPS Tactical Camera, when coupled with the SE2 GPS and GPS plus compass modules, will allow us to tag our photos, giving us lat long or MGRS of the location of the camera when we take a photo. And when you add the compass to it, it's also going to give us a heading reference. So when we bring it into a mapping environment, it's going to give us a 20 degree field of view cone to give us a representation of the cardinal heading we're looking at. And next, we're going to bring in the True Pulse 200B. With this, we're going to use our laser rangefinder coupler. And when put onto the camera, it's going to give us an inline laser ranging capability. So there is no offset or difference between the camera lens and the laser range finder. So when we bring that on, attach that to the camera, simple as that. So now, when I look through the camera and I range the object, you're going to see the heading 43 degrees northeast true, along with the distance 134.8 meters just below that. And below that, to the bottom left, you're going to see the object's lat long location. All the information is automatically captured. All that will be brought into the exit header of the photo, and when we process that, will also be displayed the location of the object that we just took a photo of. Now, if you want to refine the location, in other words, one to three degree potential heading error from the compass uh, is not acceptable, and you want to refine that, I highly recommend you use a lensetic magnetic compass to shoot your azimuth, take your magnetic azimuth, add in your location's declination, for me it's 12 degrees, so again 030 plus 12 is 42 degrees. I then come into the camera and make sure that the LCD reads 42 degrees. I lock down my heading, shoot my distance, and then take my photo. Okay, again, I want to stress that this is for situational awareness building, not for targeting. Now while we can get pretty accurate with the location of the object when we're using these devices together and we're using enhancing the information by bouncing it off a more reliable source, i.e. a lensetic compass, we still have potential for significant error. So don't rely on it for targeting, and always back up your information. It's time to like bees, time, time again.